thank you so much dr dinakar marathi sir dr shakuntala gaude madam my colleagues and research students you have just now heard a very inspiring lecture avenues in sanskrit research so i congratulate you i always feel that research is a passion research is an obsession in our previous generation we have very good examples of good researchers so as madam suggested we have pv kane dandekar yarthi raghavan kuppu swami gopinath kaviraj many 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 more actually they have produced wonderful research that has still remained as an exemplar so if you if you study the books of gopinath kaviraj you find how intensely he studied the tantra shastra and how insightfully is his book on the life and time of adi shankara acharya so it's really wonderful and these books actually pave a new path in the field of research so you are all sanskrit researchers and uh, you have many aspirations like i too want to be recognized as a good researcher my research should be recognized appreciated general this is the general aspiration that many researchers carry but for that you need some training as you all know success is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration this is this is the secret of success that success is not just overnight achievement success is 99% hard work 99% your perspiration and 1% inspiration that you derive from other people books everything so you open up yourself and for that you have uh, just now heard the lecture and you may have got some tips into the research but we know that each one of these subjects is a big ocean whether it is linguistics whether it is grammar whether it is nyaya dharma shastra or modern literature or anything take any topic it's a big ocean unless you specify the area of your research unless you limit yourself to that see einstein worked in physics einstein did not work on languages chomsky works in the field of linguistics and sociology not in physics so we understand that we have limitations the human limitations including the mathematical limitations that means mathematics too has limitations so first thing is that we should understand where we stand and where we have to go if we are aware of the area we are standing occupying and the area we are trying to reach then we can plan out as a very beautiful uh, design we can plan out because it is research and methodology research methodology when when we say we have two things there research and methodology research itself is a big topic methodology is another technique so how you study something how you derive the conclusions from that and how you present so these three things are very important how you study how you draw conclusions and how you present them presenting the research is the methodology part but before that you require to go through big many ordeals 
because unless you are thorough with, with your subject unless you have a very strong hold on your subject you cannot get into the uh, realm of research many people are doing the mistake many students that they have a great ambition i too should be a researcher and everybody thinks that jata sehi dhruva mrutyu like that after ma we should get admission into phd unfortunately it's not not so research aptitude the perseverance all are very important so that's why like in the western countries if you study a particular subject at undergraduate postgraduate level and understand the nuances understand the subtleties and then focus on research problems then only you can produce good research otherwise what happens many people do that that uh, ma sahitya all of a sudden they come to vyakarana or nyaya after their pg and they fumble there because so many texts are so unintelligible that they fumble they don't uh, know the way how to uh, get on with that so that should not be the case therefore you study the texts you study a particular science study a particular subject with a good teacher spend at least 2 3 years on that so that you understand all the interconnected things in the subject then you can go ahead with your research this is one then the the the, the problem is getting innovative ideas that is the problem because not all humans are great scientists we know that common man man is there we are all common some of us become good researchers good scientists good engineers innovative uh, good artists also so for that we 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 should accept and improve of course so we should accept that we our quality is this and in a, in order to enhance the quality we require this much training so the training is very important and there is always a scope to question and get some conclusion from that question keno upanishad is the key to research keneshitam patati preshitam manah kena pranah pratham prayutyukta these were the questions you find in the keno upanishad similarly all research begins with a question why see thousands of apples thousands of apples may fall on crores of people's heads but all these crores of people don't become newton because falling that is an occurrence falling of an, an apple is an occurrence physical occurrence but people don't respond to that newton responded and he became a scientist and that actually that is a path breaking uh, discovery similarly there are many madam curie and other so wonderful research they have produced even sometimes we strike upon some something and it becomes a very innovative one later on for something you are you are doing your research and all of a sudden you come across some other thing like uh, the x ray the german scientist he did not uh, uh, he he did not uh, uh, focus on the discovery of x ray but he fumbled upon that and he got the idea that oh there is x ray similarly the discovery of the planets so coincidence coincidence similarly the curvy nature of light the curvy nature so the light can travel in a curvy manner so that is really great but it was also an accidental discovery so there are so many such things in history that it strikes upon some people and then it will become a very very uh, historical discovery in our sanskrit field also we often find that uh, people were studying vedas people were 
trying to understand people who are trying to just chant and get the benefit etc but yaska maharshi felt the need of explaining the vedic terms and he had written the nirukta that was really very uh, we can say a revolutionary change that you just don't chant or utter the mantra the mantras carry a meaning and that meaning is within itself that means the meaning is within the word you just break the word and this is the way of breaking a word so he gave the word a new science of etymology yaskacharya then after him came panini panini maharshi studied all the pratishakya and other texts on grammar then he had devised his own method wonderful ashtadhyayi he has given and in that he has followed the method of pratishakya also but uh, he he naturally deviated from the uh, age trodden path and he has given a new path to that that is panini but panini system was also not not uh, perfect patanjali maharshi felt he studied it and he said uh, these sutras are not uh, of importance you can go away with that no so these many can be clubbed together this is the way of splitting so he has shown a new path similarly uh, several other sciences are there in which we find that uh, maybe in uh, jyotisha for example astronomy we have calculations so slight calculation that also uh, leads to a kind of different result so therefore they are very particular about the calculation bhaskaracharya did not accept age old beliefs so we find in all these that a kind of uh, a kind of attitude to start own thinking substantiating the thinking with uh, strong evidence and creating a new way or path so that was the tendency and we have the vriksha ayurveda the other texts on agriculture horticulture floriculture so great great uh, creative brains were there and in the medieval period also we find that the age old nyaya shastra was just brushed aside and a new nyaya shastra took place that is navya nyaya of gangesho padhyaya which remains even now uh, supreme in the field of logic because a very subtle uh, analysis of matters everything you can find here so thus the entire world world of matter world of words everything attracted the attention of the researchers some people analyzed the material world they became scientists like the vaisheshika the ayurveda and other some people analyzed the words they became grammarians alankarika etymologists so you you uh, try to place yourself somewhere see if you have passion for the words you study grammar etymology linguistics artificial intelligence all that if you have passion for logic then you go after that if you have passion for metaphysics you have that field so it is vast or you can uh, you can uh, go for compilation also like uh, various lexicons dictionaries you can prepare but you see in the last generation many scholars uh, were passionate about some like weber like uh, p v karne so they were passionate about something they traveled across india they procured manuscripts they studied them and presented in a very coherent manner so you can do that you can you can go to different manuscript libraries get manuscripts of your interest then present a new text to the society yes sometimes uh, a missing link can be found through the manuscripts a missing link in any shastra for example if you take the yoga shastra after patanjali maharshi direct vyasa maharshi after vyasa bhashya you don't have any other text direct bhojaraja rajamartanda then about 300 years no work on yoga not possible at all but we don't have those texts and people say that in netherlands in berlin in philadelphia 
there are libraries in which the sanskrit manuscripts are preserved so now luckily we have the uh, help of technology that through these websites also we can approach through emails also we can contact and we can get details of the manuscripts and we can work on them so think of that so ultimately what you require is passion and sincerity it's not just your fatuation for the re for this research you should have not just fatuation fascination but a kind of passion for that so with this if you can develop through the coursework also see our university offers coursework so in the uh, in the period of 6 months if you really get into the details of all the uh, matter related to research work on that and uh, be determined to become a different researcher see after 6 months i will definitely become a good researcher i will study all the basics of research methodology and i will follow so if you take an oath then you will definitely turn out to be a good researcher and recent times have produced very good research for example iit mumbai hoi they are working on the panini parsing systems they are working on the brahmadatta mathematics also so wonderful research is going on that is useful to the society this is the often presented question this is the question very often put to the researchers what is the use of your research every researcher should ask himself what is the use of my research if i don't do this research does something happen to the society so with this approach if you get into research then you can get an idea and uh, your research will be very useful so think of that the social relevance the use benefit because the society is no more ready to accept any rubbish in the form of research in that case the research will be relegated to a second position and it will face a natural death in the library so therefore you always think of producing useful research recently i got a, a dissertation from berlin university in which it is clearly mentioned haven farming haven farming that means doing haven in order to increase the quality of crop see how how useful is this is and recently dakkan college one uh, uh, researcher has uh, produced a wonderful research that is on the lex lexicons the dictionaries and how they present wonderful uh, sociological cultural and sometimes the scientific uh, uh, subjects see uh, sometimes the sociological missing links can be found in the lexicons like the uh, shankha smriti likhita smriti such smritis are very useful because they connect and uh, lexicons also offer a lot to the society so we can study them we have wonderful dictionaries on ayurveda jyotisha uh, old dictionaries so that also forms a very interesting subject and we have uh, uh, i just received a thesis from iit powai uh, a very beautiful work that is based on socio linguistic study of definition of sentence that's all you wonder are a definition of a sentence where from which text it is taken from bhartru hari's second chapter in which he has offered eight definitions of sentence he has taken only one definition ek thing vakyam arthat ek thing visheshakam vakyam you can say so that particular sentence has been taken for research and socio linguistic aspect including marathi so beautiful research i was really convinced and i i Uh, i have personally written a letter of appreciation to the researcher also so you you have the world before you all the avenues are with you the only thing is you open up yourself you feel the freshness of life 
that offers and if you confine yourself to limitations then that freshness will be lost and life will be all suffocation that should not be there so you are lucky that you have just heard a beautiful lecture by dr shakuntala gaude madam and i congratulate the organizer dr dinakar marathe sir because of his enthusiasm energy such programs are conducted and i tell you uh, this center ratnagiri center sir has just announced that it is named as pv kane bharat ratna pv kane uh, center so this center will organize such uh, useful programs in future also we are planning one big international conference in ratnagiri so we welcome all of you you be with us but three things you have to keep in mind that unless you study what has been done in the field your work will miss the freshness so in order to produce new research in order to produce useful research or fresh research you have to study the the research already done in the field so this is known as review of the uh, related uh, works that is very important many people many, many students approach the guides saying that i am interested in this subject please guide me so all the while we have to tell the students that are you are not the first person to work on that many people have already worked on that get get information and always research should start from the point where the earlier research must have left so earlier researcher might have uh, might have stopped somewhere or given some problems or uh, he may have given wrong conclusions also so you have to take the thread from that so review of previous literature is not just a part of your research methodology but it is actually the key of good research so this you keep in mind then you study the subject for few months at least uh, one year two years if you study the subject you will understand what um, um, what what uh, secrets what uh, subtleties what problems are lurking behind then all of a sudden you will get a good uh, topic yourself and you can go ahead with that your methodology is the third one so focus on that and uh, methodologically presented research has wide readership wide acceptance so you focus on that so thus it is all research and methodology and your identity so with this i once again congratulate all the organizers and i uh, offer my best wishes to you all because you only make good research so your ambition your perseverance and your efforts so with this i conclude here thank you all